What's up, friends? This is Jazz, bringing you another Better for Worse vlog number... 72, I believe. I got two strips for you guys, and the first one is from March 4th, 2004. Thank you, Parma Karzi. Man, she was good. She never made a mistake. And now, from Millborough, Ontario... Angus Martin Elementary School forever! What? He made me promise not to embarrass them. That John, if he asked her, Ellie not to embarrass them, I think he embarrassed them more than she ever could. At least she, at least she wasn't doing anything either. I mean, at least it's only one parent embarrassing them, but really, though, I mean, I mean, he gave peace signs, and I think he is drawing attention to himself, that's for sure. I would not want my father, Paris, to do that if I was up performing. You know, I never could look in the audience if I was doing something like that. Like, I sang once at my middle school. I, I don't know why. I can't stare in... I, I'm okay with strangers, but seeing people I know in the audience just kind of puts a lot of pressure on me, especially if it was my family. Like, I don't know why. I, I know, knew they were there, but I prefer not to see them. Nothing personal to them, really. It's just... Just that's just pressure on me. And the final strip is from May 12, 2007. Now that someone's with Jim, I might be able to go out for a while. I could visit a friend or walk to the corner store or sit in the park and watch the people go by. Iris, we're fine on our own. Here, why don't you go and get a little fresh air? Thanks, Christine. I think I will. There's nothing like a coffee break when you're working 24-7. I, I mean, I loved Grandma Marion, too. But I also think Iris is just a sweetheart. I think, personally, Grandma Marion sent Iris to Jim. I think she had something to do with the meeting. I mean, I think, how do I put it? Like I said, how my grand, my step grandmother and my step uncle put the good in step parent. Like they make, they do step parent, step family justice. I think Iris is the same way with the Pattersons. She not only is good with Jim, but supports him and loves his family just like he does. And I mean, she even put Marion's photo on Jim's nightstand to help him feel better. His 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 ex-wife or his, his, his former wife she cares for Jim that much that she doesn't care that he loves Marion still. Like, I mean, I know it, you'd be monstrous if you did feel that way but she's at a point where she would put her picture on his nightstand. I mean, there there is accepting that the other woman's still a part of them and like it, in a sense encouraging it you know it's I just Iris is one of my favorite characters because of all that she cared for Jim until the day he died like obviously Marion was his soul but I think Iris is also a part of his soul like she was the perfect one next to Grandma Miriam for him and sometimes I say even more so in some ways. I don't know if Grandma Marion would have necessarily... She was the one who remarried him. I don't know. Maybe she would. Maybe she wouldn't. I didn't know her in that context. I never got to know her in that context. But I just... As I said, I think that's a very sweet strip. Like, Iris just serves a break. Because at this point, Jim was kind of like a child in some ways. You know, it was hard to, to look after him. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel and like what you see, please subscribe. It helps this channel a lot. And don't forget to hit the bell notification so you'll know when new videos are coming out. And I will see you guys in my next video.